Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Dark Souls Blaze video. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at a Mad Party deck in Standard. Now, when I was building around with Mad Party, I wanted to do my own unique version of the deck. Um, there's quite a few ways you can probably play Mad Party. You just got to dig, really look into different combos, different ideas you can use with Mad Party. One of the ideas I came up with here was Mad Party with Dugong and Roxy Weezing. This is the build I'm playing here. This is what I'm rocking with. Um, it's a fun deck to play. Dugong is pretty good. It can help you in the mirror match against uh, Mad Party. And you can also use Dugong um, pretty effectively, too, to soften stuff up to be KO'd by Mad Party. So that's pretty cool. But this is the list I'm playing here for the deck. I got 29 Pokemon. Um, this is what I'm playing here. This is the list I'm using. Is it perfect? Don't know yet. So before we get in the video, guys, go check out our sponsor, Kevin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PTCGO pack codes, guys, if you're still looking for Dark Blaze codes, get them over at Kevin TCG. They're selling Dark Blaze codes for the cheapest on the market. If you're also looking for all the new uh, V promo Pokemon codes that came out, like the Eternatus V Max, Eternatus codes, if you're looking for the Pikachu and EVV codes, get them over at Kevin TCG. If you do get any code from Kevin, guys, make sure you use my discount code code LDF at the checkout for a 5% discount. On your purchase, it greatly supports the channel, helps yourself out, and helps out Karkam and TCG too. So shout out to Karkam guys, check them out, and make sure to use code LDF when you do get codes from there. You can also get their buy list too if you guys are looking for any. Um, if you're if you're looking to trade any codes, you can uh, look at their buy list, get some cash and some credit for that stuff. So um, also make sure to check out my Twitter, guys. I'm running a big 10,000 subscriber giveaway. There's gonna be five winners um, on my Twitter. All you have to do is like, retweet, and follow me on Twitter. To be entered into the giveaway, um, you'll see the tweet uh, as my pinned tweet. But there's going to be five winners. Um, also, check out my Patreon down below if you guys want to get exclusive content. It's only $2 a month. All right, let's take a look at the list. So, Mad Party, not Checkmate, but Mad Party, Roxy, Dugong, craziness. Um, so, the list I'm playing with here, um, I'm, there's a couple experimental cards in here. This isn't like a refined to finished list per se, um, but it is kind of a... Uh, it's kind of a compressed list. So, some stuff I am playing, of course, we have all the Mad Parties. We got the Bunnelbees, the Poltegeists, you know, the, the Rhymes, the Dedenes. But we also have a 2-2 Weezing line, uh, which is mainly, of course, here for Roxy. You can Roxy away Weezing, you can Roxy away Mad Party pieces. Uh, you get rid of Weezing, you get 10 damage on the board. And that's pretty relevant if you're going to go for a dual Blizzard play. You got to think of all the Pokemon that have po HP that are in range of knockouts from Roxy. So, of course, Jirachi, Galarian, Zigzagoon is another one. Snom. Um, just to name a few. You can also just knock out um, Pokemon that are already heavily damaged, or if they're not heavily damaged, you can soften them up with Dual Blizzard to then be KO'd by Mad Party. So, like, if you're trying to do, like, a 290 damage, or 280 damage, 300 damage with Mad Party, you can't quite reach it. You can actually Dual Blizzard them and then knock them out with Mad Party. So that's kind of the whole idea behind the Dugong. I actually really like it. It's also good in the mirror match. You can take out two Mad Partiers at once. Dugong is a cool card. As long as your opponent doesn't have Mew, this card is actually pretty powerful. Um, I am playing in Ranguru. This is an experimental card. I am playing a few experimental cards in here. I am playing a Struggle Gloves for the Eternatus matchup because you can do 30 more damage with Poltegeist against Eternatus. Um, you can also use this with Bunnelby against Fighting Pokemon. You can use this against Zacian so you can do 90 damage with Dual Blizzard. I'm just, it's a testing card. I'm not too sure if I like this. This can be cut out for another card of your choice, but I am testing some things out. I am playing a Ranguru. Uh, this is pretty important just for Primate Wisdom to conserve an energy. Um, if you have an energy in your hand, you don't want to discard it. You can always research, or you can always primate wisdom it on top of the deck, so you don't discard it. That's why I'm playing the one of a Ranguru in the deck. Um, yeah, so for the Pokemon, uh, we go to the items. I'm playing a lot of ball searches. I got Familiar Bell. This is a pretty good card with Roxy Weezing, because uh, you discard the Weezing with Roxy, and then you can just get it back. Uh, you can search out another one from the deck with Familiar Bell, so it's actually pretty good, especially if you discard like a, a Poltegeist or something down the road. Um, got four Great Balls, two Calm, four Quick Balls. Could probably play more. Uh, ball searching cards. You could probably play more comms if you want. I can't find room. Got an ordinary rod. Uh, this is here if you just need to get Dugong back. You just go rod, put back seal Dugong. You can also put back, you know, the Roxy Weezy, and that's why the uh, rod's in the deck. Um, two boss, three research, four Roxy. Pretty straightforward supporter count. Any other change I would honestly make, it'd be to play more supporters or play more ways to find supporters. You could definitely try out a couple copies of Poke Gear in this deck. Um, if you really want to, you can probably cut the struggle gloves and maybe the ornate rod, throw in two pokey gear to help you find Roxy. It's up to you though. I got a U-turn board in the deck. I would maybe consider playing two of these, maybe play an air balloon also. And I got four triples and then four twins. That's it for the energy. That's it for the list. Let's go try out this mad party deck here. This is a lot of fun to play. Really enjoyed playing at this deck in today's video. So let's go show it off. And hopefully we get to use some cool combos with Roxy, Weezing, Dugong, and Mad Party. Okay, guys, getting into our first match here with our Mad Party deck. We'll see how it goes here. We're up against a Fire deck, which is interesting. Uh, we're going to let them go first. 
But fire is winnable thanks to stuff like Dugon can be pretty good here. Um, actually, it doesn't matter. Our opening hand is terrible. Oh my gosh. It's a bad starting hand. Playing a Charizard deck. Can we, can we dock him? We cannot. Why do I... What is this hand, bro? Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to tell you. This hand sucks. Hopefully they Marty me here. That'd be greatly appreciated. Am I going to Welder and Energy to the Charmander? They're playing Charizards. They got multiple Zards in the deck. Okay, can we just please draw something here? <laughs> They don't knock me out, which is good. This buys an extra turn to draw something. Three energy, bro. No thanks. I'm I'm gonna keep passing, bro. I'm actually not trying to discard that many energy. No thanks. Not today. I'm just gonna keep passing, honestly. We have a couple turns, it looks like, to set up here, so it's not too bad. Yes, let's go. They marty me. I honestly didn't think they would do that, but they went for it. What were we gonna draw? Another Dedenne? This hand is also... A Terrible. Awesome. Did they get the knockout? They did not. Alright, that's good. Can we draw something good here? Okay, that's that's good for next turn. We got we got the pull we got a sinistee or pull together for next turn, which is something, but this hand still doesn't seem to be achieved. Sarge are weak to fire. Water, right? Water, okay. Okay, they got a welder. They might be able to knock me out Claw Slash, but honestly, our main target is obviously going to be the Charizard. So I actually don't care if they kill me with Charizard, which it looks like they're going to do. Okay, they don't have a boss. I actually was scared they would have had a boss, but they Weldered, I guess, so it doesn't matter. Okay, I don't know why I thought that. All right, can we draw something good here? All right, there we go. We can get a Dedenne. Yeah, we're just, we're going to Dedenne change. We're just going to let the Weezing get discarded. Not a big deal. We gotta do dead A change. We have to get a better hand. All right, come on, mad partiers galore. Okay, still no supporter. Don't know where my mans are at. Can we get a supporter here? Nice. Okay, we're gonna Roxy get rid of the other Pulty guys. Unfortunately, I don't want to get rid of the Dugon though, because it seems like it might be important here. Okay, there we go. That's a better hand. Still no second supporter, but we can do another dead A change if we really have to. Okay, let's see if we can hit Seal here. No, we got Dedenne. We'll take it. I guess we can quick ball with a Bunnelby. Take Seal. And just swing. Mad party for whatever. If we were doing more damage, we actually could have knocked him out Dugong. That would have been pretty good. If we can draw into our boss here, we could actually Dugong knock out the Volk and the Charmander, unless this evolves. That could be a really good play. I don't even mind doing Dugong here either, though. I probably want to just knock out the Charizard VMAX, though. Now, we'll see what happens. Let's see what we draw. Familiar Bell? So we can get the Pulte Geist out of the deck, which is pretty good. Hmm. To Dugong or not to Dugong is the question. How much energy do we have left? Oh, we got tons of energy. I kind of do want to do Dugong, but we can always wait to do it. We can always knock out Charizard and Volk. No, we can I don't know what I want to do. Okay, whatever. We're just going to dead A change. We're not going to bother with Dugong this turn. We're going to wait a turn. We're going to try to knock out the Charizard if we can. Let's go here. Go here. See if we get any more map partiers. Nope. Sucks we have to have that Dedenne in play. Take the Bunnelby. I'm gonna save the Weezing. I'm gonna save the Weezing. We'll go here with the Roxy. Could do another T break. How much damage are we doing here? 40, 80, 100, 120, 140. We're doing 180. We're still short on the knockout, I think. I think we are still short. 100, 120, no, 140. We're doing, oh, we're only doing 180 damage here. So actually, yeah, we're short on the knockout again. That sucks. That's fine. We can actually finish him out with Dugong here. 
unless this thing evolves. But yeah, but that's actually pretty good. We can also boss up the uh, Volk. Yeah, this is fine. We can just do a knockout with Dugong next turn, which is pretty good in my books. They have Solval. It's an interesting fire deck. I don't really think they need both Charizard VMAX and Charizard with Roaring Resolve, but he be my guest. Alright, let's see what they do. Okay, yeah, just a knockout? Alright. Mint. This is good. This is good. So we're gonna bring in the Dugong. Put the triple on. Uh, we'll boss this up, of course. We'll knock out the Volk here, I think, which is pretty good. How many Poltergeist do we have left? Still have one left. Alright, we'll bench this. And dual blizzard. Boom, boom. That's why I like the Dugong, folks. Look at that. Knock out the Volk. Knock out the Charizard. Take our three prize or four prizes, actually. We just gotta knock out that Charizard on the bench to win the game. And we just need to find our last boss so we can get there. There it is. Alright. We're not gonna win next turn, though, I don't think. I don't think we can. No, we actually know we can. We uh, have enough Mad Partiers if we do uh, another tea break here to knock him out. We could get Reset Stamp, though, which is bad. Or Marnied. We can always just do another Dual Blizzard. We can actually just... We can win next turn, too. If they don't evolve Charmander here, we literally just win the game by going Dual Blizzard again with Roxy. So, that'll be that. We probably... Even if they go Charmeleon, they have to get Rarkin Charizard. If they go Charmeleon here, we can still knock out both Charmanders. Or both... Both the Charmander on... Charmeleon, whatever, on the active. We can also knock out the bench. So, this is fine. It doesn't really matter... We can win here with just Dugong and Roxy, which is pretty good. Let's see what they got, though. Let's see what they got. Do they have anything they can use to help them out? They actually played pretty well in this match. I'm glad we got to use Dugong here. I'm glad we got to show off how the Dugong is good with Mad Party, in my opinion. This is pretty cool that we got to use Dugong. Hey, let's go. We can just win here with Roxy. We can also boss up the Charmander, but we're going to do the old-fashioned Roxy play here. Right, 70 HP, mint, all right. And triple energy goes on and dual blizzard. And that'll be that. My boy Dugong. Dugong is honestly an underrated card. It's really not that bad. It might not be doing significant damage to VMAXs anymore, but it's really not that bad of a card. It really isn't. Well, that's pretty good. Maybe we'll run to a Mad Party mirror match. This is where the Dugong can shine. All right, guys, get another match with Mad Party. My opponent wins the coin flip, and unfortunately, they're going to make me go first. So they are playing a Weller deck, though, which is good. And oh my gosh, we have to get the double start here. All right. We'll start with the baby to Dene. So we can try to go here. Well, Great Ball next turn. We might be able to get a coughing or something, and we can do Roxy here, I guess. Let's see what they're playing. Okay, Goon. Okay, it's Great Ball. We'll take the Bunnelby. Bench it. And pass. Next turn, we'll do Roxy. Not gonna do anything else. We're just gonna we're gonna chill out a turn and see what happens. We'll see what they're playing. Could be a Charizard V Max deck judging from the Zigzagoon, but Zigzagoon's not a bad Pokemon to have in play. I mean it's something we can knock out with Dugong, which is good. We're up against another fire deck again. This is kind of where the Dugong could be good. We just saw that last game there where we knocked out the Charizard and the Volk with the Dugong. So we could try to do another one of those type of plays. They're actually gonna go straight for Dedene, which is good. That could be a nice boss target. And they get rid of a boss, a research. Okay, pretty good discards, actually, for us to see. There's the Volk. Did they get the Pokemon to go with it, though, is the question. Okay, they got a switch. But did they get the Charizard to go with it? They could build the Volcanian, but again, if they do that, we have the option to try to knock out the Volk and the Zigzagoon. All right. Did they get their main VMAX attacker here off of that Dedene? It doesn't look like they did. Oh, they have a research. They lose a welder and a switch. That will most definitely get them what they're looking for. Yeah, Pokecom. So yeah, it's a Charizard VMAX deck. All right, well, pretty straightforward stuff once again, I think. It'll kind of be the same rhythm we did in that last game there. But we'll have to see how things go. Our, our hand's not amazing, but we can do Roxy. We have Familiar Bell to get Rhyme and stuff. This hand's not terrible. I could have gotten the Weezing with that Great Ball, but I don't think we want to do Weezing just yet, because this thing can always re-ping itself back down with Scoop Up Net. So there's no need to get 10 damage on this yet. We want to wait to do that. Hopefully we can knock out the Volcanian here. <laughs> oh, pardon me with the sneezing. I apologize, guys. Um, there's a Twin Energy. All right, we're going to do Roxy first. Giant Hearth is pretty good, too. He gives a free discard. Okay, well, we didn't get the U-turn board, so we can't move here. 
We did get a Sinistee, though. We also got Seal. Which, yeah, we'll bench it. We can do the Familiar Bell. Quick Ball here. Get another Sinistee. Also, we could go Ranguru. Nah. We'll just go Sinistee. Oh, do we have the U-turn board in the deck? We do. We could Guru here. We could, yeah, we can. We could Dedene Guru. No, I'm just getting another Sinistee. I don't really care if they knock out my active, obviously, so it doesn't really, doesn't really concern me. Just passed, I guess. I don't. Mm, we'll see what happens. I don't really want to lose my um, my seal though. But I don't think they have a boss. Yeah, they're just gonna weld there. They're probably gonna knock me out Volcano, which I don't really care if they do, because then we'll knock them out with Mad Party. We'll see. We could all. I guess we. Uh, maybe it's better to do Roxy here. Try to knock out the goons. We'll see. Interesting. They're hitting Bunnelby and not the Sinistees. Hmm. Yeah, what if it's starting to hit the Sinistee there with the Zigzagoon pings? I mean, yeah, it looks like they could knock out a Sinistee here. They could also just knock out my Bunnelby, which is pretty bad. And then we'd have to go Pulty guys. Maybe I should have mentioned the other Bunnelby then. I don't know. We'll see what they do. Do they have another scoop of net to knock out my thing? They've only played one so far, and they have four in the deck, most likely. Nope, they don't have it. Okay. That's fine. Knock out my poor Dedene. Bring in this. See, we draw. It's Roxy. Okay, so we can just do the Roxy then. It's fine. Get rid of these. Okay, this is fine. Um, we're doing 100 damage, 110. So, yeah, we just got to discard one more Mad Partier here to get them. No! Bro, are we actually going to be 10 short? Unless we could go Dugong, I guess. We can't do that. Oh my gosh, we might be short on the knockout. You hate to see it. Okay. Redemption. There we go. Got the rhyme. All right, beautiful. That would have been very unfortunate if we whipped the knockout there. So that's the knockout. I'll play this too, I guess. Yeah, we might have. We might just do Dugon next turn. All right, let's just go. Bench Chen Mad Party. One twenty. All right. Not a whole lot of damage, but. That's still fine, as long as we not got that Volk. Struggle loves. Okay, don't need it. It's not good in this matchup. We could probably do Dugong next turn, assuming we can find it. I think we haven't played a Calm yet. We should be able to get Dugong next turn, and then we can um, take out this. Ooh, they are going to get a Eldegoth. What will they get back? Probably a boss, right? No, actually Welder. I'm, actually, I'm glad they didn't get boss. They could have knocked out my seal, which I didn't want to have happen. They actually maybe should have just went research. They're already knocking me out with Claw Slash. They could have went research, try to zigzagoon, knock this out, and then we're forced to bring something else in the active spot. That actually would have been a pretty good play for them. Ooh, maybe they'll float me up. They might float me up if they have enough energy, which they do. But then they have to retreat this. I don't know, actually. But we can knock out both zigzagoons here with the Dugong, which I'm going to probably do. And then we can Ornate Rod the Dugong back in the deck, and then we have it for another time. So that should work out in our favor. Assuming we can actually find the Dugong here off this Roxy. There's only a Roxy for one. Maybe we won't find it. Maybe we should just go Sinistee. We'll see what they bring in. It's probably a Zigzagoon, right? If they bring in Charizard, I don't know what they're doing. I mean, I'd rather... Yeah, okay, they bring in the Zigzagoon. Nah, I'll bring in the Seal. That's fine. Let's see what we draw. It is not fine. Okay, well... All right, let's go here. Great trade-off. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, what are the chances we actually hit the dugong here off this Roxy? Oh no. One time? No, we didn't get it. No. <gasps> no. Oh my gosh. I'm actually upset. My poor seal's gonna get bodied. No. It's actually not looking good. They only have four prizes left to take. And the fact that we whipped the double knockout there is really bad. Like, really, really bad. Um, the best we can do is tea break, though, I guess, and hope to draw into Dugong. Come on, give me Dugong one time. Come on, bro. What is this? Ah, <sighs> oh, man. That sucks so much. 
I'm actually so upset right now. We actually whipped the knockout. So I'm not gonna finish T, I guess. We could, I guess, we could have dead A changed, but I'm not, I'm not gonna discard all these cards. That is so unfortunate. Our chances of winning are really not as good now. Especially if they scoop up both Zigzagoons here, they heal them. How? I can't believe we actually whiffed. I get we really need another Pokemon though to Roxy away. Yeah, they got the retreat. So bad. I'm actually so upset we whiffed there, I'm not gonna lie. I'm really sad we whiffed the Dugong play there. Because that would have been so good. Knock out both Zigzagoons. They got a Crobat for three. Hopefully they don't get any scoop up nets here. We can still knock out the Zigzagoons, which I think I still want to do. Because then we just gotta knock out the Charizard VMAX to win the game. Like we can still win this. Yeah, we just gotta hope those Zigzagoons get knocked out. I think I'm still gonna bring in the seal. Like I think we're just gonna go all in and just bring it in. Doesn't like don't don't really care. We still just need to get out calm or something. Yeah, let's keep bringing the seal. I don't know if this is the correct play though, honestly. Oh. One card off. It's always one card. Mm. All right, well, we know we got the Dugong play available, so let's go here. Let's see what we get. Yeah, there's Comsi. I told you what I got. We actually could boss here too. Um, we could boss the uh, the Volcanian. They are down two welders, and they are down a lot of energy too. Okay, I'm gonna comment to Dene in the deck, obviously. Uh, get another Poltegeist. I think I don't mind doing boss, but at the same time, um, if we do boss, there is a chance. Um, yeah, I don't really see a reason not to do boss. Like we might need to boss up the Charizard at some point to win the game, so maybe we shouldn't do it. Uh, we still have the other boss in the deck, which I think we only really need one, so I don't think it really matters. Or do we want to just save the boss? I think we're gonna play it. Make him try to get the knockout. We'll just do a blizzard, knock out the two goons. Don't mind this at all. We want those goons out of here so they can't do any shenanigans. Research. Dedene. All right, more mad partiers are good so we can do more damage. As long as we can two shot the Charizard, I'm happy. Okay, they got a net. They could have played that last turn. Maybe they top decked it. Maybe they top decked it. I don't know. Let's we'll see if they can knock out my uh, Dugong here with Charizard. They might have to do Fire Spin. Do they want to do that, though? I guess they could knock out Flare Star or High Blast. I don't care if they do that. And then we just knock out the Volk. Then we just knock out the bench with Boss. So either way, if Dugong got knocked out, it wouldn't matter. So they are going to knock me out. Bam with this. We're going to Ornay Rod the Dugong back into the deck. And I think we can win this point. Uh, we do have a knockout on this thing, too, which is pretty good. So let's go. We're going to Ornay Rod first. Put the Dugong back in case we can draw into Seal. Get that Dugong back. We're going to... Tea break here. We can't bench to Dene though. That's against the rules. There's the boss. Okay. Put that on top, I guess. There's the seal. Okay, cool. We are knocking them out, right? I'm not going crazy. We might actually be short on the Naku. Well, I'm going to do this anyways. In case we are short on the Naku. Whoops, okay. Mad party, key break, let's see. All right, cool. We'll just get rid of all the Okay, this is definitely a knockout, 100%. This is definitely a KO. Yeah. Okay, we did have them, right? We had the 20 down. I think it was safe, safe and sorry. Plus, we want to thin out the deck anyway, so it's no biggie. All right, another mad party is good. And we should win here. They knock out my guy. We just knock him out, pull the guys. We also have the uh, Dugong still available to us, so I think we've got this wrapped up. I think we've got this wrapped up. Yep, they can see. Beautiful stuff. Dugong, once again, making its worth. It really sucks we had to whip that one turn of Dugong, not gonna lie. That stung quite a bit, losing that Dugong turn. Wasn't great, but as, because we didn't mention Dene, right? We just avoided giving them two prizes. We just was like, all right, we can afford it to fall back a turn. Wasn't a big deal. It sucks we didn't get it, but we still were able to ping the goons. It was We got lucky they didn't scoop net. That's what I was worried about. They would scoop net the goons, and then we wouldn't be able to knock both of them out, which would have complicated things a lot. I don't actually made a bit, would have made it a bit harder to win had they recovered those goons with the damage on them. And our rare is a Star Raptor. 
Okay, guys, get another match with Matt Party here. Uh, we did lose the coin flip, but they are going to go first, which is good for us, because we want to go second with Matt Party. And we actually got a pretty good hand. Now, I am going to hold it, and we're just pretty much going to pray that we don't get donked here. If we get donked, so be it. Wait, what? Alolan Sandshrew. What is my opponent playing? I am very confused. What could this be? A quick ball getting played to get rid of a water energy. Is this an ADP deck? Ooh, Inteleon. Uh-oh. Inteleon's a little scary because we don't have Mew in here to break our bench. So we probably just get bodied. It's a good thing we're not going first. They actually could have snipe shot and knocked me out here. Which they could still do. I don't really know what the heck the sand shoe is for, though. We could try to make room for a Mew in this deck. We could cut the Oranguru out of the deck and put in a Mew, which I guess could be okay. Um, there's a lot of stuff we can put in here. That's kind of the issue with this deck. I wouldn't mind playing Mew. I guess Mew combos really well with Dugong and Roxy, but... I don't know what I would cut from Mew. Evil Wind Sense could be decent in here, too. That's another card I can see going in. Alright, there we go. We got a, we got a Pulte, Pulte Geist. So let's go Roxy here. Alright. Got quite a few things. I'm just gonna take the Dene probably for next turn, just in case. Um, bench this and just mad party for the knockout. We'll see what they do here. If we can two shot the Italian, I'm feeling pretty good. Oh, the other Dene rip. Benching the Dene is still bad against this because they could boss it up and take two prizes or th three prizes, sorry, which is not good. But. Because we didn't get a research, we have to probably just dead A change, which I'm fine with. I'm not really too concerned about that. We probably don't even need the Roxy Weezing here. I don't really know what kind of deck this is. So I don't really know what's going to be on their bench. They could have low HP Pokemon on their bench that, you know, Dugong and Roxy are good against. But I don't really know what they're even playing to begin with. We'll see what they decide to snipe shot. They could knock out my active, which is probably the smart play. They could also knock out a Sinistee. Which I don't really care if they knock out a Sinistee. We'll see what they go for. We'll see what they decide to do here. Oh, they have Roxy too. They have Roxy Weezing too? Wait, what? Then what's the Sand Shrew for? What? Bro, I'm so confused. The Roxy's actually kind of bad. We have low HP Pokemon. Ooh, and they got the VMAX off of that. Bro, are you serious? And a Dedenne? How good was that Roxy, bro? What? Roller Skater. What is going on? I am very confused right now. Well, do they get energy? That's what I'm also scared of. Triple energy too? Are they playing Dugong too? What is going on? Snom? Well, what's the triple for? What the heck? I am very confused as what I'm playing against. I actually don't know what this could be. Okay, we're gonna have to attack with Bunnelby here. They didn't get energy on their Inteleon, which is really good. That does mean we don't have to worry about any um any shenanigans with uh with a Hydro Snipe next turn. Alright, sorry to Dene. You gotta go, though. Okay, we still got a decent amount of Mad Partiers left. We could've, I guess we could've done T-Break. We'll wait a turn. We'll wait a turn. We'll wait to do it. There we go. Let's go T-Break now. There's a Guru. Okay, uh, we'll do this first. Uh, ooh, do I want to take this? Alright, we'll take this, I guess. I guess we'll just do Roxy. It's fine by me. There's Roxy here. Away, oh, Ranguru and uh, Rhyme. Okay. Um. Ba 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 ba. Quick ball. Away, Roxy. Take the last Dene. We'll T break it away, of course. I guess we wouldn't mind find Seal. There we go. Okay, sure. I don't really know if it's needed in this matchup, the Dugong, but we could use it next turn and knock out the Snom, which might not be bad. We are two-shotting the Inteleon now, though, which is good. So that seems good. Well, yeah, we're two-shotting the Inteleon. So we probably just want to knock out the Inteleon first, but we could also just snipe the Snom. If we're doing more damage. Okay, never mind. It falls into Frostmont anyways. But I think we could still save Dugong for a rainy day. It still might be useful. You never know. I see it to themselves. Okay, I've seen it all. I don't really know what kind of deck this is, though. Like, this is very confusing. Triple Energy, Roxy, Roller Skater, Coughing, Inteleon, Frost Moth, Energy Switch? Bro, are you serious? This man's actually going to knock me out with Hydro's Max Bullet because of an Energy Switch. I 
I've seen it all. I've seen it all. It's not the end of the world, though. This is why I like having the rod in the deck in case they do take multiple KOs on a mad party or when you need to keep up with the attackers. Still a little concerning, though, they're doing this. Okay, quick ball. I wouldn't mind them benching more Loichi Pokemon, though, for Dugong. Okay, they're dead changing again. Rip. They could Marnie us. That could be a little scary. This is actually a pretty good hand. And if they do Marnie us, we are putting a lot of supporters at the bottom of the deck. Like, we're going to be out of Roxy. And we'll have one research. We literally enter out of Denny. So, a Marnie could really screw us over. Okay, there's Sandshrew. Really wish we were doing more damage. I really want to knock this out with Dugong, but it's too bulky. All right, let's see if they got energy here. They probably will. There's no way they won't. There's no way they're going to whip energy here um, to, high, to max bullet. They actually don't get max bullet off, but that's really nice. But they probably will have it. And then at that point, they just got to knock out Dedenne with another max bullet. They could probably win the game by taking two prizes. So, or three prizes. So, it's not good. Oh, they're going to boss me. Oh, yeah, they're going to take the three prizes now. Or not. Ooh, we did play the U-turn board, though. We need to get a twin energy here to move. We should be able to find it, though. Apparently not. All right, well. Here we go. We can Roxy. We need to get a twin energy to move. Can we find it? Come on. Yes, we got it. All right, good. Get a lot of damage. I actually don't mind this. What? 10 more damage on this thing? Well, actually, we can't get 10 more damage on it. Because we don't have any Roxy's left. Never mind. I was going to say, if we get 10 more damage on this, we can knock it out with Dugon. So let's retreat and a Bunnelby. Evolve. Uh, what else? Do we want to do T-Break? Sort of last... Nah, I don't think we want to. We have Bunnelby still, I guess. Let's just do this. I'm going to hold the hand. We'll, we'll be quite struggle gloves. We actually put them on Dugong. We do 90 damage to the... Uh, to the... Sand True or Sand Slash. Whatever that's going to turn into. We can take him out. Rod. Okay, cool. Dedenne. All right, more Mad Partiers. And what else? Bell. Okay, how many boss do we have left? We haven't played one? Okay, so if we can find a boss next turn. I would like to boss up the Dedenne. We can win the game next turn if we find boss. That's pretty good. Let's we'll see if we can find it. Oh, they just concede. All right, well. That was a very interesting match. I honestly, I should have looked at their deck, actually. I don't really know what the heck we were playing against there. That was so confusing. Okay, guys, we're going to do another game with the deck. We're against Strife here with a, probably another fire deck. So we just seem to hit all the fire decks today when recording this video, which I don't mind because we are playing a... Uh, a mad party deck with dugong in it which is actually good so i don't really care if we're hitting fire decks all right we do get the sinistee start we could get dogged here if they have zig zagoons that's a little bit of a concern um it could be another charizard v max deck with goon nope it's sent to scorch they do have scoop up net which might mean they play jirachi which is good for dugong which is good all right let's see what they do here our hand's not bad um i guess I might have just researched i guess to be honest we can research quick ball. Maybe for just get seal instead of a mad partier. Draw an extra card, because why not? That's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, we know we're not going to get donked here, which is good. Unless they have Zigzagoon, which... I don't know if any Sent of Scorch list would ever play Goon. That just doesn't seem like a card that would be needed to be put in the deck. So I highly doubt they have Zigzagoon. If they have Zigzagoon, then I'm going to cry, because... I'm going to cry. But yeah, it would make no sense for... Of sent a scorch deck to ever play goon it does suck though we didn't start with bunnelby would have liked to have seen a bunnelby start so we can try not go the vault here with uh well we could still hit u-turn board and twin energy that is still up in the air we'll see we'll see what we're doing we'll do to dene we could just dead a change actually which i don't mind either uh so let's go quick ball here oh no we priced our seal no all right we'll take bunnelby Oh, I should check to see if we had U-turn bark. My bad. Okay, cool. All right, whatever. Let's just did NA. We are losing a boss. That could be relevant down the road. Okay, we didn't get any supporters, so it doesn't look like we're going to be able <clears throat> to do much right now. Honestly, <laughs> could do. we could do the drop and put them in 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4. Hmm. We're doing 80 damage. We could hit them here for 20. It's kind of a waste of a twin energy, but we might be able to knock out the bulk next turn. So I might as well. Doesn't look very good though. That was a pretty bad Dedenne. Maybe we should have just done research. We could have seen an extra card. 
but I was gonna maybe hopefully daddy change into a supporter so yeah, this is why maybe I want to play Poke Gear in this deck. Okay, they welded the active, which I'm fine with. Alright. Our start isn't very good, though, which is not helping. Two Volks, alright. Two Pokemon Dugon could hit, maybe. We want to see more low HP Pokemon come down. I don't know if they're playing Jirachi, but they had Scoob Net, so I'm assuming they are. Okay, they got the VMAX. Yeah, we really need to set up here very soon. If we don't set up, um, we're probably just going to get bodied. I don't think we're going to be able to win this if we don't get a good draw here. So we're only doing 40, all right, 80, we're 10, 20 off. What do we draw? Okay, we got the knockout. That was a good top deck. Okay, we didn't, still couldn't get a uh, thing. And the thing I was talking about is, what's his face? Um, Pulte guys. So, I might dead A change again. We can do Roxy next turn. We have the Pulte guys. So we can hold the hand and do Roxy next turn. Or we can Dead A change now. Kind of just feel like... Yeah, let's just get Pulte guys. What will... Okay. I don't know if this is a correct play or not. But we can Roxy next turn. And see what that takes us. We'll just do Roxy next turn. We could get a Pokemon off the prizes too. So we can just Roxy here and go from there. Yeah, see? Perfect. We can Roxy next turn. And we should be able to find a Pulte guys off of that Roxy. Or, uh, wait, or more Pokemon. We should be okay. We'll just Roxy them next. It's fine. I don't know. As long as we get two shots of Sunscorch. They could knock me out with Volk. No, they're gonna go Sunscorch. Okay, cool. The only concerning thing right now, obviously, is we have to Denny in play. Not having Seal could be a problem, too, in all honesty. Um, but they haven't benched any Pokemon that Dugong could two-shot. Or knock out in one hit. So maybe this Dugong's not important right now. But we could use it for Sunscorch. I think we're just gonna try to two-shot the Scorch here and go from there. Not much else I can really do about that. Yeah, just G-Max. Okay, see we draw here. We can bring in the Pulte guys. We are doing 60, 80. We're doing 100 damage. 120 or something like that. As long as we can hit them for 160, we should be okay. Alright, another Sinister. He's good. Here we go. Roxy. Still don't worry about reset stamp, I guess. Okay. Um, This is fine. This hand's not bad. We can tea break away the Dedene. Oh, we should have got a rhyme actually. Guru. Alright, we'll take it. Um we can familiar bell. Could get Bunnelby here. Which might not be bad. Uh, well let's do Primate Wisdom first. Boss. That's our last boss too. My good. This is where the right guru could be good. We can save our boss. Put that there, I guess. We're just mad party. We can probably knock him out next turn, even if we're not two-shotting, which I'm pretty sure we are. Yeah, we're doing 160. All right, this is fine. They could get a heat energy on, but again, we're doing 20 more damage when they kill me here with mad party. Maybe we should have actually just gotten Bunnelby, but we can always just U-turn board to Dene, go into Bunnelby. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, there's a welder. They can knock me out with um, Volcanion, maybe, and then this thing stays alive, but then we just boss it up. If we can get an energy then. I maybe hmm. I don't know. If we don't get energy here, we probably can't boss up the Volk uh the Senna Scorch and knock it out. Because we just gotta knock out Senna Scorch and Crobat to win. But I guess we don't have any bosses left. That's out of the picture. Actually, because we don't have any bosses left after we do this one boss, we might be in trouble. So best case for us, we actually have to knock out the active here. Um, if we're gonna win this game, yeah, they're gonna switch into Volk. That's not good. Yeah, actually, to be honest, I don't know if we're winning this. I don't know if we're winning this. This is where Dugong would be good. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's go Familiar Bell. I guess we'll take the Pulte guys. Yeah, we can draw more cards with that. It's probably more fair. All right, well. We could Roxy here, but we probably want to boss up the Scorch. Okay. That's good stuff. All right, well. See how this goes. Another Bunnelby. We could just knock out the active, hold the boss. We can like we can Roxy here. We're probably just gonna use Bunnelby to finish the game off. Uh, another way we can win though, of course, is if they bench Jirachi or something. We can knock it out with Dugong. But I don't know if they play it. Do we want to just take three prizes here? We might get reset stamped. We knocked this out. We still got to take four prizes, which is not easy. 
No, I think we just knock out the active. Or not the active. Bench, just boss up the Senna Scorch. What am I saying? All right. Doesn't matter. Let's see what our prizes are. Great ball. I don't know if we have energy prize, but if we do, that'd be great. Okay. Roxy bait. More mad partiers. Okay. That's not great prizes. I'm assuming they're going to stamp me here. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to win this. I don't know if we're going to win this. Though. The only way I could see us winning is if they had, like, low HP Pokemon on the bench. We could knock out Dugong. We didn't even get Seal. Oh, they don't have anything? Okay. That's actually good, then. Like we're always bringing in Bunnelby. We don't really have much of a choice. So it's Great Ball. We can do Roxy here, which I'm going to do. We're going to do Roxy instead of Research. It's one less card, but we have a Ranguru. There we go. Yeah, see, as long as we don't whiff energy, but that's good. We get more damage on the Senna Scorch too. I don't think we're ever going to be able to do 300 damage, but it's possible. It is possible to hit them for 300 damage here. Just take everything. Okay. It sucks we don't have a third boss, though, to be honest, but it is what it is. I'm going to hold those because we if they stamp me here, we can draw into them and use Dedene. 240. We might be short on the knockout, actually, on the Senna Scorch. Oh, maybe not. Okay, that's good. That The fact that was in Seal. Oh, we might. We actually, we win next turn if they knock me out here and they don't stamp me. We have game because we can discard three more Mad Partiers plus the active. Yeah, we have game. Never mind, they have game. <laughs> or do they? They're down 8 energy. Do they Do they not have game here? Wow. Okay. Um, I don't think it's over yet, obviously. Yeah, because we have no Mad Partiers left. Okay, good to know. I mean, not much I can do. If they have a boss, they have a boss. That's what it comes down to. Two triples left. Yeah, I guess they have, they have they have boss. They have boss. Just can't. I can't win here. We're, we're doing two forty. We're only gonna be doing two eighty. We're gonna be twenty off. If we didn't bench this, actually, we could have won here. We're gonna be twenty off if we um, if we attack. So there's not much I can do about that. There's not much I can do about it. If, if they have boss, they have boss. That's what it's going to come down to. If we had access to another Roxy Weezing play, and we hit them for 20, we could have won the game by bumping all those mad parties. We're just we're going to be short on the KO here. Yeah, they have boss. It's just in their hand. Just magically there. 27 cards left in the deck. And they have their second boss in their hand. I guess we got a little lucky. They somehow didn't win the last turn, but it is what it is. Yeah. That was rough. Not much I can do about that. If we went Dugon, we would have won the game because we could knock out the Vulk in the active, and then we can hit that uh, thing for 60, which could have set us up to KO because it would have enough damage on to KO. But I'll wrap up the video, guys, on the Mad Party deck here. We play against a lot of fire decks today, um, which is good for this deck. I feel like this deck is very good against fire decks because they tend to have low HP Pokemon for Dual Blizzard to snipe. They're all easily weak to water. So there's a lot of things you can do with this deck. I enjoy playing this deck. I do think there are some changes I would like to make. I probably would just cut, cut the Struggle Gloves out of the deck and throw in a, uh, an extra... Pokemon search card. I definitely think Mew should go in here too. Other than that though, I don't think I would change much about the deck. The deck played pretty well. I enjoyed playing it. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you like the video, subscribe down below. If you're new to the channel, help me with reaching it 11,000 subs. Make sure to check out my Twitter down below. If you guys want to enter in my 10K giveaway, make sure to check it out. All you have to do guys, once again, is retweet the tweet, follow me on Twitter, and like the tweet in order to be entered in the giveaway when I draw the winner. And yeah, there's gonna be five winners. Check out the card camera down below. If you get any codes in there, use code LEF. See you guys in the video. Bye-bye. Um,